Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about Aweber and WordPress so you have a WordPress blog and you have an Aweber to build your list and you want to add a sign up form on your WordPress blog there's a ton of different ways to do that obviously we're going to go through the simplest way you can possibly do it with just the straight Aweber forms and the Aweber plugin in your WordPress site so it doesn't have to cost you anything more you don't have to pay for another platform to set up capture pages or funnels or that kind of stuff you can just put in simple widgets and we're going to try to look at the different kinds of things you can do depending on how much time we have we're going to go through uh setting up your web or your list maybe we're going to go talk about other things but let's get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so Aweber and WordPress do work really well together other platforms you know other SendLane, SendGrid, um, um, MailChimp all, all those email management platforms email autoresponders as they call it will all do pretty much the same thing but if you've got Aweber and WordPress this will be exactly what you need to get your Aweber integrated into your WordPress we're going to go and show you let me just share my screen here and by the way before we get into all this I want to remind you if you are listening to this audio if you're listening to this audio just uh don't go to cis310.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post so you can follow along with screenshots and uh, right now I'm sharing my screen so you can do that by going to that uh, link all right so you have a blog there's blogs WordPress that's a f you, there's lots of different places where you can get it and let's say you want to set up a capture on the side right here you see I have some images uh, that if I click on take me to a funnel page which isn't what we're going to be talking about but if you go to my blog uh, and you see these on the side here you see that when I click them it opens up a separate page to put in your name and email but what we're going to talk about today is just having a form right on your page to capture emails to your list so you first of course you need to have a Aweber account and uh, yeah let's just let's just take a few moments to kind of talk about setting this up if you don't even have a WordPress or Aweber and you're just starting out you need at least to get that done so if you want to get an Aweber account let me just open up an incognito window here so to get an Aweber account what you need to do is uh, you go to aweber.jeansergegagnon.com obviously you can just go on Aweber you don't have to use my link but if you use my link I will happily help you you know la la di la da all that stuff I'd appreciate you using my link but anyways you go to aweber.johnsonsgang.com and you just set up a free account all you got to do is put your name and email sign up for free then then you can use uh, you can actually start using it for free for up to I think it's 500 let's take a look at the pricing what did they say I keep forgetting um the free account is up to 500 subscribers right so there's certain things you can't do with the free account I'm not sure if we can do all the things we're talking we're going to be showing you today with the free account but I guess you can try and let me know I'd love to hear if you can let me know whether it does let you do that right but like I said this is Aweber and Aweber is is a platform to manage email subscribers why do you want email subscribers well you know they say without a list you won't have results list a list even is still the most important thing you need to do as a marketer online so get yourself a list the next thing is if you don't have a WordPress blog you can search online but you can get a free WordPress blog at clickecourse.com uh part of the part of our Click eCourse platform is that we do have a free WordPress so you can go to clickecourse.com and you'll see on the site under more over here there's information about WordPress so you click on WordPress that's gonna it explains to you what the WordPress blog is and also that you can get it for free there's certain features that you don't get with the free account but still you can get your WordPress blog set up you can learn how to use it you can create pages posts you don't have any limitations that way um uh, at least not not at the moment 
uh, we might choose to limit the number of uh, pages but it'll be a crazy high limit anyways it, we we want you to be able to, to be successful before you decide before you have to pay anything that's kind of the our, our motto our our I guess I'm just kind of coming up with that right now I never really thought about it but that's kind of what I'm thinking is is I want you to have success before you pay anything I don't want you to have to pay something feeling like well I don't even have any income yet from this online world I got to pay all these things which by the way is how I've been doing it I've been paying all these different platforms all these different things that's one of the reasons why I built click ecourse but you go to clickecourse.com slash blog um, or you just go to click ecourse and click on more and wordpress that kind of explains what you do how to do but basically what you got to do is create a free account you just click on here you continue with Facebook or you use an email and password to register an account um after that you go to the blog and just click the button to activate it it's very very simple there's other I have lots of other blog oh I got a hair in my <laughs> sorry there's lots of other episodes I did on how to do that let me just kind of show you if I go back to my uh to my actual uh, blog over here I go to my blog on the right hand side if you go to my actual blog which is js do I have it yeah blog link which is just jeansergegagnon.com right just go there uh you're going to see on the side there's categories right here so there's lots of blog posts on wordpress you just click on wordpress down down here whoops see the wordpress in the categories right there right whoops let's get my name my blog link is in the way here there we go let's just move this down to here there you go so yeah <laughs> over here you click on the wordpress link inside of the categories on the side there that'll give you all the blog posts around about wordpress which are all basically using wordpress but lots of them are actually setting up your wordpress on click ecourse so how to migrate your wordpress how to migrate your blog to uh your own stuff hosting why should you host on click ecourse so probably click e uh, course income secrets number 191 why should you host your course on click ecourse is probably the one you want to go look at again course income secrets 191 why should you host your course on Click eCourse that one is going to cover all the uh how to set it up how to how to how to create your account all these different things let's just do a quick look here make sure I'm not uh so Click eCourse uh and it also has links to other things on there but uh you might wonder you should uh host your course on Click anyways there's all this anyways that's my like I said that's my blog you can find that that information there so let's just go back now to okay you have your Aweber and you have your WordPress so what do you need to do to integrate those two together right so the first thing you need is you need to have a list right so if I go to lists on Aweber when you first create your account you're not going to have any list like me I have a whole bunch of lists right uh the the reason I have multiple lists is because every time I create something a, a new a new offer I like to have a separate list so that I can send them a specific email for that one offer and then afterwards they they get added to my continuity if you will where I send uh my broadcast to everybody who's gone through the initial emails of each of these so that's why I have a bunch of lists but you don't have to have a bunch of lists some marketers teach having a, a single list right so in any case you just click on create a list right here right and that'll uh, open up um, a couple of uh, uh, options here it'll ask you for your email uh, address and things like that and your name and so just click on next step here let's create this list for test for cis um 30310 is it is it 310 let me see I, I keep let's take that link uh it is it is no that's not the right link right over here 310 it is 310 okay it's 310 so test for 310 test list for cis 310 okay so I'm just going to do that like that I'm going to click on next step and then the rest you can just leave a uh, you can edit that anyways we're not going to go into that stuff but now you have your list so you have a list <coughs> and you have no subscribers in it uh that list there, <laughs> then it goes to your dashboard but it kind of shows you broadcast all sorts of things this is my list up, to, up top you can see it says test with cis 310 whatever your list is you need that list to be created so then afterwards so you need the list on aweber for one next let's talk about the uh, sign up form so up here you see you have sign up forms landing pages I don't know about the web push uh, I'd have to look into that but let's just say we want to create a sign up form to get people on this list right you just go to sign up form here 
uh, and then you create a sign up form so let's create this sign up form here you can make it a little fancier than what we're going to do here obviously you got to learn the editor there they have a whole bunch of help for that too right there's always a bunch of help but let's just say I'm going to do a simple one right just like that load template and all it is is name and email and that's it let's say I want to put at least a header here I want to say join my email list to keep up to date all right so I'm going to just save that right here and the, oh I should probably make that a little bit bigger so over here I want to make sure this is going to be 36 point there you go okay save it <coughs> join my email list to keep updated you can I can also uh, make this you know uh, centered so it looks a little bit nicer and uh, there you go so now it's going to ask for the name and email sub and then there's going to be a submit button and all that so you can change all this as you can see you can double click it to re-edit these things right I can change the label to your best email your best email right because people have more than one email whoops with a uppercase u your best email save field and then your name full name and I'm going to say uh, whoops there's the caption full name full name save it all right so now I've set that up I'm going to save the form oops my my video, webcam's in the way here it's moving me out of the way as the bottom as you can see there's a save your form right there I'm just going to click on this it saves it next I go to step two right there right I click on go to step two so now I've got a step two basic settings uh, your form name that's just going to let you save it you can have a thank you page if you'd like or a custom page or stay on current page um and that doesn't really matter in the case of what we're going to do so let's just leave it like that go to step three and then I will install my form all this you can you can look at this but you don't need any of that for this for what we're talking about all you got to do is you got to create your form so now that the form is created if I click on sign up forms again you'll see I have my web form it's an inline type displays there's no displays no conversion or nothing yet because I haven't integrated okay so now the next thing you need to do is you need to go into your wordpress if I go to my wordpress <coughs> my wordpress site right um if I go to my wordpress site now I can go into uh actually let's do that like this okay <clears throat> so I'm on my wordpress site I go to my dashboard right normally you're on your dashboard uh let's just uh, hold on it's coming up let's give it a second here okay so on your dashboard first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to install a plugin and by the way let's just go back to Aweber here and show you there's a whole bunch of help on how to do that other ways to collect subscribers if you click on this WordPress you'll see, I actually loaded them up before but let's just start from scratch so you can click on that WordPress you know image right here over here you click on this WordPress image right there it'll take you to this help page which explains how to add a sign up form to your website using Aweber for WordPress plugin so over here it talks about how to do it but before we do it we have to install it so we let's say you don't have it installed yet so again click on this link it'll take you to the how to install it so the install it is pretty straightforward they talk about the WordPress plugin uh, if um, and they talk about downloading it from the WordPress uh, store but you actually don't need to do that you can find it right in in um, in your WordPress dashboard so if I go to my dashboard over here I go into plugins now I already have it installed so I don't know if it'll show up in the see I have Aweber for WordPress right here but if I click on if I don't have it and I click on add new I can just search for Aweber right and it'll show me any pl plugins that have Aweber there's a whole bunch of this this is Aweber for WordPress it'll show up like this right now it says that it's active right because I've already installed it but look for the one that says buy Aweber right because there, see how there's a whole bunch of other other ones that have Aweber in them and even if you scroll through you're probably going to find some that have a logo that look like Aweber right maybe not but anyways I'm sure there is like like I guess this one here looks like Aweber right contact form 7 Aweber extension but this is by Renzo Johnson and he's only got 13 um I guess they only have 19 as well but 
they don't have a, I guess she's got a higher rating maybe it's better but in any case the one that's by whoever is basic it works uh and I and that's that's the one you want you want this aweber for wordpress you just you can just click on it see the inst the 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 help and all this stuff right <laughs> or you can just uh, normally it would have the install now whoops would have the install now if you didn't have it installed mine is installed so I, I don't have to do that okay so now once you have it installed though you need to integrate your aweber this is why when we talk about this set, set of instructions the first thing you got to do is activate it right after you've activated it you have to connect your aweber account to it so the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to do this let's get started right here you're gonna have to click on the get started which will take you to aweber and inside of and then you'll have a pop-up like this or a new tab or I don't I don't remember it's been so long but you'll have something like this that'll ask you to log in then it'll give you uh it'll take you to a page unique authorization code right this is where your code will be it'll be inside this little box but you'll take that code there copy and paste it it says right here highlight and copy this code right highlight and copy this code so you'll get that code in in a, in your in your browser you're going to see that then you're going to just paste it inside of here so see how that in the beginning we went get started then there's paste your authorization code right so when you click on the get started it'll do all these things pop up a, lo a login and show you a code and then you got to take that code and paste it there in step number two and then you click on the finish so that is how you integrate so that that connects the two together it connects wordpress and aweber so that's the first thing you do you got to connect them together if they're not connected you won't be able to subscribe people from your wordpress in aweber right so you got to connect them first so that's the most important thing install the plugin and connect aweber right so those two things you got to do before you go on to the next step after you've done that after you've installed the plugin and connected the next thing you got to do is you'll go into your uh aweber <coughs> you might you might need to do some settings uh commenting and new registrants add subscribers oh that's interesting I didn't even know I had that add subscribers when visitors leave a comment no oh, I didn't even know I enabled that so if anybody comments they get added to my subscribers that's kind of weird I didn't know I had that but that's I guess that's under advanced and then advanced option if I click on connect that's where the connection was right system information advanced options okay so that doesn't we don't need to go there that's not where we need to go so what we want to do now and let's say if I look at my 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 blog right if I look at my blog let's just go back to my blog you'll see that I have these uh the you know it's a it, depending on your theme that you have different ways of looking if I go for example to, let's go to my other blog which I actually didn't integrate success with js so that's my other blog that I haven't updated in a long time that was the first one that I used in the past success with js as you can see there's nothing on the side here it's very very plain so let's um let's go to the uh so WP admin. let's let's log in to it uh I think that I hope that's the right user password I don't know let's see yeah it looks right okay so if I go in here let's just see if I even have the let's let's do the whole process let's install it and I don't have it okay so if I go add new I should probably update look at that comments and whew, that's a lot of stuff um okay so search for aweber right after it loads it up I can scroll through and I can see the aweber for wordpress by aweber right install that all right so now it's active now if I go back into my settings uh, installed all right it's not activated yet so it doesn't show up right so it's right here aweber for wordpress right I could have activated in the other page but it doesn't really matter I click on activate right here and now it's active now you can see on the side of the menu now there's an aweber plug an aweber and there's a settings tab there's only one settings tab in the beginning until you've it's not um so yeah so it requires authentication so now I click on get started 
and it's going to ask me to log in to my Aweber which actually is uh, this one I believe yeah that's the one here and allow access now I get this code which of course you it's no use for you I go back to here and I paste it in here and then I click on finish there you go oh that's a, that's a, enabled by default that's interesting okay well let's just do that let's go into success tips to your inbox right here as well there you go and I save that all right and okay so now I want to add the widget of this new list I created right I created this new list over here from test cis310 so I go to my blog and I go into appearance widgets I go to appearance widgets I go to the widgets because what I want to do is I want to add a widget on my page <coughs> there's a, now there's a, other things you can do too but I'll, we'll cover that afterwards let's just do that first when you look through your widgets you're going to see there's an aweber sign up form right there right so you just take that first you got to have what uh what my main sidebar I only have one widget on this on this blog right on this oh sorry I I close that let's go back to here so over here I have this blog there's only one sidebar right it says recent posts recent comments that's all I have right here right so if I click on here and I and main sidebar is right here search recent posts recent comments right that's what we have search recent posts recent comments those are the three things I have on my sidebar right now these three things now I'm going to add the sign up form I'm actually going to put it between the search and the recent post I'm going to put it right there I'm going to select a list I'm going to say test for CIS 310 right and then the sign up form my web form which is the one I created uh, if I go back to Aweber you can see that this form is called my web form that's the one that we just saw right here in the in the settings my web form I'm just going to save this now if I reload my blog it's really that simple if I reload my blog now I have join my email list to keep up to date on the side here okay so that's one way to do it you could put it in your sidebar over here I'm going to put js test one so js test one uh, at xos.com so this is going to be the I'm going to just submit this and now I'm going to be subscribed to the list so I'm not sure what it does it does take okay activate your subscription so confirm link so I'm going to get an email now I'm going to have to click this link to to activate my to confirm my subscription but that's kind of how it worked right this is basically the the normal way of adding people to the list and so there so now that's <clears throat> okay so that's how you get people on your list through this right <clears throat> now the other way let's just see let's say you wanted to have um um what else can we do we can make it a pop-up but I'm not sure how to do that let's just take a look at this if I create a new new sign up form there should be a way to make it a full screen one I don't know let's do that <clears throat> so I want it to be a sale one okay load template where does it say elements header footer oh maybe it's under settings okay let's just let's just leave it like this that's fine save your form <clears throat> and then let's go to this step two uh no that's not where it is advanced settings hmm. that's not it there's a <clears throat> oh actually I want to go back to the design here hide template preview name add fields always display there's a pop-up behavior pop under pops open beneath the current page no there's got to be a way to make it so that it's uh so maybe it's not here maybe it's okay let's just uh maybe it has to be a landing page because I mean what I let's say I want a pop-up right and you can create a pop-up using um <clears throat> so this landing page landing page is similar to uh to that but let's just say I want to have an event registration so I can create a landing page here which is kind of like a funnel 
which asks for your name and email and offers you something right so you can do that title of your presentation logo save your seat name and email sign up now right so that'll send that'll add you to a list as well right if I say let's just save and exit <coughs> I just want to see what that if that's of any use to publish let's just publish it okay so it's published now there's the link right here copy this link hmm. I wonder if I can use that inside of here right widgets I don't think it's available here but I'd have to look that up to see if there's a way to have but you know one of the things that I I would want to do is let's just let's just google it just for the fun of it so um a Weber pop-up whoops a Weber pop-up in WordPress whoops not okay there WordPress whoops Word <clears throat> WP forms integrations click on the add new account this link will pop up which take you to a no that's not on integrate Aweber with pop-ups okay did you know pop-ups integrates with Aweber yeah so that's the thing you got to have a pop-up <coughs> a pop-up plugin pop-up builder convert see convert plug so I I'm I'm assuming that almost every pop-up option let's just go back to here and let's search for plugins let's just uh and this is one of the things right uh yeah sure leave and this is one of the things with WordPress there's so many things available you got to be careful if you're installing something you haven't received any uh um, recommendation from so let's just say a Weber pop-up <coughs> pop-up builder pop-up maker hustle marketing toolkit opt-in pop-up forms aweber forms so you see all these pop-ups probably would support it but how do you choose which one to use either somebody told you to use one or, or another or you look at the number of installations right if there's if there's a lot of installations these look this one here see only a thousand right so that might not be you know unless you know whoever built this but anything over 10 20 000 is fine probably plus the ratings right if you look at the ratings look at this this is all five stars five stars it's four and a half right but still there's different things I haven't even used any of these yet so let's just install this one pop-up maker let's install the pop-up maker all right and uh, like I said before after you've installed it you can actually activate it right here you don't have to go in the the pop-up uh, the plugins list I'm just going to activate it and it'll show up either in my settings or as a new menu entry right there it is pop-up maker right there create your first pop-up let's just see because I want to set up a pop-up um create a pop-up let's just give it uh sign up sign up to simple online strategies all right so we're going to do that pop-up title simple online strategies well actually let's call this course income secrets <coughs> let's sign up to course income secrets instead let's just do that okay skip tour all right so in here I can just put whatever I want uh, okay so I can put whatever I want so I can probably put in this thing if I go in here to my sign up forms actually you know what let's go to my real list and let's do that because I want to I actually want to do this so I'm going to go to my simple online strategies list simple online strategies right here <clears throat> I want to see if that works and I'm going to create a I'm going to use this one my web form which isn't I, I should probably rename it or something but anyways doesn't really matter um so let's just put a header in here join course course income secrets email list to be notified of new episodes all right so I'm just going to do that for now whoops I guess I have to 
make this a little bit bigger <laughs> Why is it black it's it's white here but it's black there okay so let's make this black or white actually there you go why is it not bigger let's make it bigger oh I think I might have to do this right 24 and then center it no I don't uh, I still don't like this it's too big let's make it smaller than that make it 16 okay there anyways it doesn't really matter I'm just going to do that for now save your form and then I'm going to go to the next step and let's call it sign up sign sign up to cis right the thank you page I don't want to stay on current page I'll resubscribe page that's fine and go to set up free oh I gotta save it first okay uh now I have it here okay so now I have that let's go oh right so install it use my form um no that's not what I I want to have there's a there's a short code right so if I go back to this and I go back to the help I had before remember how we went in here and there was a if I go back to the sign up forms remember how there was a, a link or a, 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 a button to go to wordpress help in here in the wordpress help it talks about how to add a sign up form to your website it says you can do this or you can use a short form short form right doesn't talk about it in here oh maybe it was in the and it was in actually in the widget was it there was uh, I saw it I saw that earlier the were short form where's the short form okay well anyways if I go back to my blog now <coughs> this is the one here I want to insert oh there it is it's right here insert whoever please wait fetching the available short codes okay so now I want to go into my simple online strategies sign up to cis there you go okay so there so all I had to do is I had to click on this little uh thing here there's also pop-up maker short codes but this one is all I want here let's just see what happens I want to publish this so now this pop-up is created now I got to decide what does it do what does this pop-up do when does it trigger trigger cause a pop-up to open add a new trigger so I want this to open time delay choose what type of trigger to add I want to have a time delay okay prevent pop-up from showing to visitor again using a cookie show stop showing pop-up once visitor takes this action or on, on pop-up close form submission so I'm going to do that add all right and what's my delay my delay is going to be let's say two seconds cookie name okay that's fine there you go so now I have a 2000 second delay cookies control one month yeah that's fine so that means that if the user visits my page and let's just do I have to save it I have to update okay so now if I go back here in theory I should have a pop-up let's see what happens <clears throat> so after two seconds right so the page is loaded now one and two there you go look at that now I have this course income secret join course income secrets email list to be notified of new episodes close oh that's cool so now I have this and I can actually probably let's just see I got this pop up here uh targeting can I add I can add a new trigger okay click to open hmm so anyways that's uh, it sounds it seems con con complicated because I'm going through it learning it 
but it's really very simple let's go back to what I just did I went into the plugins I installed this new plugin so if I go back into plugins where is it well actually let's do it on my other site let's do that on my other site my main uh, site over here I go into plugins <coughs> add a new plugin I search for a Weber pop-up it showed me a bunch of different ones and like I said you look at the number of installations the ratings and see which ones are good I chose this one pop-up maker pop-up for opt-ins lead gen and more I'm going to install this I activate it and I'm going to create my first pop-up I was going to call it cis cis opt-in uh, course income secrets never miss another course income secrets episode and then I'm just going to go in here I'm going to click on this Aweber uh little Aweber icon right there right <clears throat> and it says it's fetching okay and the one I want is this one sign up to CIS that I created inside of simple online strategies I click on okay and then now that's there and that's I could just save it but I want a trigger here I want to have a trigger that's going to add new trigger I'm going to say time delay auto open on uh, and I want to cancel on successful subscription there we go <clears throat> and what is the delay I want it to be a two second delay let's make it a five second delay because well no two seconds is fine so two seconds there you go add all right and what is this targeting conditions to show your pop-up to targeted segment for your site users by default blah, 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 every page choose a condition ah, okay display what kind of display oh okay center pop-up top bar left bar right bar center pop this display has been updated to the center pop-up preset the close button delay this delays the display of the close button huh that's interesting let's make it half a second disable the close button imagine that eh advanced disable anyways okay so now I've got that let's just publish it <coughs> and now I have the pop-up on my main blog this one here let's just reload this see what it looks like <coughs> after two seconds I get never miss another course income secrets episode so that's going to be just this form and I could probably make this form let's edit the form make it a look, look a little bit better let's edit this form is there a way to make it bigger can I change the oh there's the width in line oh there's a the type pop over The width is going to be let's make this 600 there we go okay and then let's just put your whoops full name your full name save it email let's make this your best email save it save your form okay so now if I reload my page here <clears throat> not sure what one two there you go oh look at that oh so that didn't work because I made this guy a pop-up so let's just let's go fix that I don't want that then it should not be where was the type I 
the type's gone right the, the it's set to uh, okay let's go back to the da -da -da. so save your form and go back to the sign up forms again let's just edit this because the first thing it wasn't now it's not there anymore right there it is I wonder why that disappeared inline I want this to just be inline save it okay so now if I reload it again one and two and there you go now it takes up the whole screen and I can close it or I can submit my name and email there we go so it'll still pop if I go to the next page over here now you want to start reading one and two where did what happened my computers I think my computer's on but anyways yeah so that's how you set up an, an Aweber form on your WordPress site using the Aweber plugin I hope that helped and if you have any questions of course as always you can reach out but uh we'll maybe we'll see you in another episode on this otherwise see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time